The laws governing data collection are changing all over the world, and one of the biggest changes is how websites can use cookies to track users' browsing habits. This is a big deal for any website that wants to stay competitive in today's market, but it's also important for individual users who want more control over their browsing experience. This is why you see cookie banners all around the World Wide Web right now. A cookie banner is essentially a message that appears on visitors' screens when they visit a website. It informs visitors that the website uses cookies and asks them to accept or decline their use. And, it helps improve privacy by ensuring that users have given consent to use cookies set by websites using their data. In this video, we'll go over the best practices for using cookie banners on your website. A cookie banner should ideally have two layers on it. The first layer is what you see first when the banner pops up. The second layer is usually the further settings and description of cookies. Let's begin with the first layer, allowing opt-in and opt-out. The cookie banner on your website must provide cookie opt-in and opt-out options that are of equal prominence, that is, the opt-out option should be as clear and accessible as the opt-in. The banner should link to the privacy or cookie policy of the website for detailed disclosure of cookies set by the website. There should also be an option to change cookie settings or preferences. This takes us to the second layer of the banner. On the second layer, these are the important things to follow. Explain in brief each cookie category and what accepting them will mean. Allow users to control the type of cookies to be used using granular opt-in and opt-out choices, that is, users should be able to give consent to cookies per category. Pre-enabled or pre-ticked consent options are strictly not allowed under regulations like GDPR, all cookie categories except those that are strictly necessary should be deactivated by default. Now, let's look at the cookie banner behavior. Until users click the accept button, block cookies set by third parties, storing such cookies without explicit consent is a violation. The cookie banner should have the setting to allow users to withdraw their consent, that is, to open the banner again and update the consent status at any time. This can either be a floating button after the banner is closed or link in privacy or cookie policy, which will open the banner. When a user consents to the use of cookies, that consent should be recorded and logged. This log will provide evidence of consent in the event that it is needed. It should be documented without revealing the personally identifiable information of the users. Let's have a look at the best way to present the cookie banner on your website. First is adopting UX-friendly design. The banner should be placed keeping in mind the user experience. It shouldn't obstruct the content or user experience of the website. The users should be able to dismiss it without having to force accept the cookies. A cookie banner is meant to be easy to understand and quick to read, keep it simple so that users can focus on one thing at a time. The banner should adapt to different screen sizes and browsers. You'll have visitors from all around the world, make sure your banner is made available to users in their preferred language. And that's it for our cookie banner best practices, you can add a cookie banner that meets all these requirements and more and comply with major privacy regulations worldwide such as GDPR and CCPA using just three simple steps. How? By using Cookie Yes, the leading cookie consent solution trusted by over a million websites. Try for free. And with that, we've come to the end of the video. We hope you found this video helpful, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us in the comments.